Today, Precarious plays... Steven Universe, Save the Light. Cigarettes. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so the answer was rolling all along. Mm -hmm. Or rolling along? <laughs> oh, that's new. Shield schematic. Answer weapons. Oh, I bet Ooh. I know which one. Which special location? You do? Yeah. How about... We've only had one space in the series that enhances weapons, right? Bismuth's house. Yeah. Sure. How about... Well, her workshop. A shield schematic, so that's gonna be... It's gonna cost some of this. Some of those. And oh. it's gonna be for Stevens. Well, can you go to the character menu? Not the, not the main menu, but the character menu. Oh, um... These? Yeah, and then select Steven. Guys, and then down at the out. bottom, if you highlight the star, does it tell you anything? Does it Oh, no, it's on the it's on the right. Okay. So tier two, there is just some thing that it does. Hmm. I'm suspicious of the amount of space that they allocated to badges. It's my hope that over the course of the game, your characters unlock additional badge slots. I bet, I bet you. Cause yeah, if you made them just a little smaller, even on this screen, mm -hmm. you could fit three on there. Uh, that's what I was, I'm, I'll be happy with two, but three would be, would be pretty fancy. I'm trying to skirt around these enemies a little bit so I can do some exploring. Oh, oh did not know that that was a possibility. All right. You need to fight the enemies because they might drop uh, a seed. Why? <laughs> well, X. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, I only had to do it to myself twice. <laughs> that was a bizarre. Oh, no. I know setup. what this is. It was a tutorial. Oh, Cause now we no. can. We can. Where are my friends? Right, they're not with you. Oh! Because you rolled through. Oh, uh, but, but. <laughs> I mean, bubble. Well, yes. Bubble. Right? But. But what? Bubbles! Oh, that's right, I have spiky bubble, but I can just shield bash them off of here. You think? Ah, too late though. You have more. I know. You have two more, two more goes. It was perfect. No yes way. way. That was a tutorial. That's. I, I had a realization. I love these people. I had a realization, and I don't know if I wanna. I wanna. Bring it up yet? You had questions for me. Hey. Ah. Um. Yes. Well, we heard me talk about how much I love this game, and this universe, and this Steven universe. <laughs> the specific one right here, the big old smile. Ah, oh, gosh. Yeah, and I... So here's Here, the... ask me a question so I can start talking so you can focus on this. I know you like all of the characters pretty much. Are there any characters that you don't actually like? Yes. I can't think of them, but I, d I don't much care for Yellow Diamond. Things are not going according to plan. Did you want me to elaborate? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you like Yellow Diamond? She's fine. She's terrible, but she's fine. I feel like... I don't I like Yellow Diamond. For a long time, thought that she was a, a little sinister. Mm-hmm. 
I thought that there was something... I thought that there was going to be a, a, a twist where she was somehow involved in the, the shattering of Pink Diamond. Mm -hmm. Because of the way that she would try to ignore the situation when talking to Blue Diamond. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I know. I know I put it in here somewhere. Why don't I like Maybe Yellow Diamond? This? You know what? No. I think that a lot of it has to do with her design. I mm -hmm. think that her design doesn't feel as complete as Blue Diamond's. Really? Yeah, I feel like visually and narratively um, wow. Blue Diamond is a more successful character. Mm. And I think it might just be in comparison to Blue Diamond. I, th because there is such an obvious point of comparison, it's really easy for me to um, like Yellow Diamond less. Mm -hmm. That's just the way back to town. I don't think there's anything back there. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me! <laughs> I'm trying to think of where we might be able to find... I guess fighting enemies is just the way to get those... Did you use both of your... gooey dooeys? I got just the no, thing. I didn't. How about... maybe this? Mm, not, not quite. Not quite, yeah. Okay. So, I know that Lapis is your favorite, except for Pearl is your favorite. Right, except, except for, for Connie, Connie is my is your favorite. favorite. What about those three characters is it? Individually. Well. <laughs> uh, the initial thing that I liked about Lapis Real Lapis, not trapped in a mirror Lapis. Mm -hmm. Is... <laughs> you mean healed Lapis, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Um, I guess perhaps somewhat ironically, given her... In a, in a fun twist, uh, the thing that I liked about Lapis initially is very shallow. Mm-hmm. Like a, like a puddle. <laughs> Surface level. Um, she's gorgeous. Yeah. And I feel okay about that because I think that that's one of the first things that struck Steven about Lapis. Mm -hmm. Because remember whenever she, she becomes a humanoid and has water wings, he gets stars in his eyes and it's like, Whoa. What does he say? It rhymes with Bob. Tough crowd. I don't know. I don't remember. It was a it was a cute thing. It was like later Gator, like that kind of thing. Because her response is, I'm not, it's, Lapis. it's Lapis. And then she yeah. flies away. No prob, Bob. No prob, Bob. Thank you. Yes, because he fixes her. <laughs> But I suppose the first thing that I liked about that character was because of Lapis, it's the effect that she had on the on the series, mm -hmm. but it was expressed through Pearl. Yeah. Because Pearl has this horrified look on her face whenever Steven brings the mirror back and he's like, hey, it's talking to me. And she holds her hand up in front of her mouth and she's like, it should only be following orders. So she... It injects this very serious issue into the universe, mm -hmm. into the material of... So wait, it should only be following orders? So you knew that there was like a flash... 
sentience in yeah. this mirror yeah. pearl? Yeah. This spark, the spark of intelligence? Yeah. Ooh, I know. That, that Item pearl, you. man. You should, I mean, how can she not feel as a, as somebody who is part of a, a serving cast? How can she be okay with that? I have to think that maybe may, she must have assumed that it was a homeworld gem. A spy or something. Yeah, she must have been okay with consigning an enemy to an eternity of servitude. Probably. Which at least I can understand. I don't know, it doesn't make it okay, but at least there's a logic behind it, right? Did we figure out what Steven does? Yes, it, incre it grants a, um, a buff, a defensive buff. Okay. Well. To be perfectly frank, I think that it's a little expensive. I feel like it should either be one star point, um, or it should apply to more than just one person. I think it'd be really cute if it always applied to the target and then also Steven because Steven was so amused by it. Mm -hmm. Just as like a fun little bonus if you happen to have Amethyst and Steven in the party. Yeah. Almost. Steven can do it. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> well, he, he, he can, can really do it. He time. really can do it. What else about Lapis? Everything else I've, I've already sort of covered. It's just the dark comedy. That she has. Yeah. And her, her nihilistic attitude is just a she, delight she for makes, me. She enjoys making meat morphs. I mean, like, what's more to like? Yeah, actually, you know, it's funny. I think that a lot of what I like about her is expressed in her meat morphs. Yeah. Uh, the blatancy of her art. It's just the. Hey, this is uh, this is about the time I played baseball. Uh, I liked it. It's really it's it almost feels a lot of her meat morphs feel more like uh, feel photographic. Yeah. It's just recording something that was there. Not it's not trying to express so much as it's trying to record. Mm-hmm. They are hardy. Ah. They are, but I did get another do, so maybe that'll be enough for today. I would like to see what is in that box before we're done for the day. But why is Steven twirly? Because he got hit really hard. You should just use Connie yeah. two times in rapid succession to wall up that guy. I mean, maybe with a little more tact, a little more... Deafness. A little more Connie-like charm. Yeah, so let's see if one more do will be enough. Mm. I'm a little worried because the enemies respawn whenever you reload or switch in, um, from area to area. Mm -hmm. And I think that the main menu suggested that we've only done like 3% of some... Just some measure of progress. Mm -hmm. Whatever they measure as progress, we've only done 3% of it. And that's a little disconcerting because I thought this was going to be a much smaller game. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we should dwell on every moment like I thought we would want to. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it was mandatory. Huh, that's interesting. Yay. I feel like that sort of devalues the... <laughs> Yay! Uh, I feel like that sort of devalues what they... Can I get up here? Oh. What they described as a secret before. I mm. think that there was like a secret jingle, but you had to do that. I 
bet you can mm. do that with this. I bet there's a whole other world up there. No. Oh, Get out of here. I bet there is. Do you want to? Do I want to what? Do you want to go unlock the door? I mean, tomorrow. <sighs> sure. 